Continuing our work with slope intercept form, we are today going to be working in reverse from what we did in the previous lesson where we were given a graph and we wrote an equation in slope intercept form. So we are going to review a little bit of that and then we are going to move on to graphing the line given the equation in slope intercept form. So reversing that process. So as a review, um, we are going to go through what the equation is again. So the slope equation for slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where y is from an ordered pair, m is the slope, x is a value from the ordered pair, and b is the y-intercept. So based on our previous lesson, we are going to write an equation given the graph, and so in this case, remember we looked for two things. We are looking for our slope and we are looking for our y-intercept. So our y-intercept in this case is at positive 5 and our slope we need to identify some other points. So it looks like our slope is going down 3 over 1, down 3 over 1. So if our slope is negative 3, and our y-intercept, or our b, is at 5, then we plug that into an equation, and y equals negative 3x plus 5. On the next one, we have a y-intercept at negative 3, so our b is negative 3, and looking for our slope, uh, it looks like there's a point here and another point here. So we would go up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. So our slope is 2 thirds. So in writing an equation, we would have y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. And lastly, so we have our y-intercept at negative 4 and our slope looks like here's a point and it looks like there would be another point here. So we will be going down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and over 1. And just to verify, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1. So a slope of negative 5 or negative 5 over 1. So we would write this as y equals negative 5x minus 4. So what we're going to be working on today then is we will be given an equation and then we need to graph the line. So if we are given the equation y equals 1 fourth x minus 2, we want to start at our y-intercept value. So here is where we need to start. So remember that this is on the y-axis and that our y-intercept in this case is a negative 2, so making sure that you plot in the correct point on the y-axis. So we are going to plot our point at negative 2 on the y and a slope of 1 fourth, so that means we would go up 1 over 4 and make a point here. And remember our rule for graphing is we need to have three points on the line. So in this case we only have two points. So Remember what I said earlier that if you can't go up and over, then just reverse that and go the other way. So go down one and over four the other way to make another point. And so we could see that we it would follow that same pattern. Make sure that you use a ruler to make your line. Make sure that your line goes through your points and that you have arrows at the end of your line. So we don't just want to connect the points, we want to extend that line past those points. 
All right, let's look at the next one. So if we have y equals negative 2x plus 3, so this is where we are going to start. In this case, our 3 is positive, so we're going to start at positive 3. And our slope is negative, so we are going to go down 2 and over 1 and make a point. Go down 2 over 1, make a point. We can continue this on until we run out of room if we want. You could also reverse, go up to over one the other way. Draw our line with arrows. And there we have it. All right, let's try one more. So we are going to start at positive five on our y-axis, so we'll start here. Our slope is negative 2 thirds, so we are going to go down 2 over 3, go down 2 over 3, and we run out of room there anyway, so we'll go ahead and make our line. I need to extend my line, apparently. Oops. There we go. And so now we have reversed this process and given our equation, we can graph the line. So you need to now complete the back side of your note. So there are six more lines to graph based on the equation. So pause the video and when you are finished, I will reveal the answers for you. Okay, so let's look at these lines. So if we have the equation y equals 3 fourths x minus 5, so our y-intercept is at negative 5, we have a slope of positive 3 fourths, so up 3 over 4. This is one of those situations where we only can fit two points on the graph. Even if we were to reverse, we run out of room on the graph, so that is our graph. y equals x minus 3, so our y-intercept is at negative 3. Remember here that there's a 1 there, so our slope is 1 over 1, so up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and so forth. So there's that line. y equals 5 halves x minus 4, so y-intercept of negative 4, up 5 over 2, up 5 over 2, and we have that line. So make sure before I change screens on my end that you have these lines accurate on your notes. And the last three, so if we have y equals negative one-third x minus one, so y-intercept of negative one, a slope of negative one-third, so going down one over three, down one over three. A y-intercept of positive two on the next one, and a slope of negative one, so down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. And lastly, a slope inter or a y-intercept of positive four. So plotting that point, a slope of negative one-fifth, so down one over five. We only have these two points, so we need to reverse and go up one over five the other direction to complete our line. Make sure that you make any changes as necessary and you are ready to move on.